Thanks so much for joining us tonight. We have breaking news that Supreme Court striking down affirmative action ruling it is unlawful. They say some schools admissions programs violate the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. Now the court upheld using race as a factor in college admissions programs as recently as 2016, but that was before the court's makeup moved to the right with a six to three conservative majority. Lawsuits allege the policies discriminated against white and Asian American applicants. Ever since this ruling, our children will no longer be treated as second class citizens in during college uh, admission process. Once the ruling came down, many people expressed concern about how this will impact diversity. Others are celebrating this as a victory for fairness. South Carolinians are reacting to the Supreme Court decision, which uh, struck down affirmative action for admissions. Our Jason Raven tells us more. After the ruling was announced, we reached out to various institutions here in South Carolina about the potential impact this could have on their students and their policies. Now, officials at the state's universities say they'll comply with the change. We received statements Thursday from the University of South Carolina and Clemson University. USC President Michael Amarides wrote, the University of South Carolina remains steadfast in its continuing commitment to compliance with the law and to a campus environment that supports and respects individuals with a variety of life experiences. He went on to say, we will continue to welcome qualified students who contribute to our diverse university learning environment and embrace a student body that reflects the people and communities that make up our state and our nation. A spokesperson for Clemson wrote, a Clemson University takes a holistic approach to admissions following the requirements of the law. Now, Clemson will abide by applicable court rulings as we continue to encourage all talented students from South Carolina and elsewhere to attend Clemson. Well, Governor Henry McMaster told reporters Thursday he had not yet read the ruling but believed the Supreme Court made the right decision. I think all our schools are, are very eager to, to educate the people of South Carolina and they'll do whatever they can with scholarships and programs that we've been working on for many years to try to get all our people to go as far as they want to go into college, and I'm confident that will continue. Now, some South Carolina Democratic lawmakers said they did not agree with the decision Thursday after the ruling was announced. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News.